Hi everyone, it's Jason Van Borsum. Hope you are all experiencing a very holy and meaningful and reflective Lent. I was asked to record a Lenten reflection this year and my prompt question was, what does it mean to go to church? More specifically, to our Father's house. And that question is inspired by Jesus' own words in the Gospel of John when he describes the temple as my Father's house. I want to start by sharing with you all, you all a quote from one of my heroes of the faith, the late, great uh, Russian Orthodox priest, Alexander Shmeman. And speaking of what gathering for worship in our Father's house is about and what it means, Shmeman wrote the following. The journey begins when Christians leave their homes and their beds. They leave, indeed, their life in this present and concrete world. And whether they have to drive 15 miles or walk a few blocks, a sacramental act is already taking place. An act which is the very condition of everything else that is to happen. For they are now on their way to constitute the church. Or to be more exact, to be transformed into the church of God. They have been individuals, some white, some black, some poor, some rich. They have been the natural world and a natural community, and now they have been called to come together in one place, to bring their lives, their very world with them, and to be more than what they were, a new community with a new life. The purpose of this coming together is not simply to add a religious dimension to the natural community, to make it better, more responsible, more Christian. No, the purpose of coming together in one place is to fulfill the church. And that means to make present the one in whom all things are at their end and all things are at their beginning. I love Shmeman's take there on how the sacramental act begins when people get out of bed and start heading to church in the morning. You know, God is always with us individually, communally, but when we gather in sacred space, when we gather in our Father's house, in the name of the Holy and blessed uh, and eternal trinity. God is present, not just with us individually, but in the midst of us, among us as a body. As Jesus himself promised, whenever two or three are gathered together in his name, the divine presence will be there in the midst of the people. This is important because I think for too long, worship has been viewed, at least in American Christianity, as an individual act of piety. People assemble together, yes, in church, but the motivation and the thinking behind it seems to be more about fulfilling one's own individual religious needs and individual piety, rather than what Shmeman describes as fulfilling and constituting the church. And I think this notion of coming together in our Father's house to once again become the body of Christ, to receive Christ's presence somehow, mystically, mysteriously, in the sacrament of the Eucharist, 
so that we are nourished and nurtured and fueled to go out and be God's hands and feet in the world. That's very powerful. So when we gather in our Father's house, it is a communal gathering where we experience God present in the midst of us, and we as a collective community are fulfilled because we once again gather to constitute the body of Christ.